Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome back to the One Life Challenge. And just before we get started, I just wanted to wish you a happy new year and also happy holidays as well. I had a good little break and I am so ready to jump back in. Now I love the fact that we're starting a new year with a new season. Oh, foggy. I forgot about the fog. But uh, May has very kindly updated the mod pack, I think sometime last week as of the day of recording this. Don't exactly know what's been added. Although what she has said is that the issue with the ionized water and the other drinks at Gus that didn't give the effects that they should have should have been fixed. So hopefully we're all good now on those. Maybe I can actually give them a try. So I think one of the things I said I wanted to start the season off with was to build a mill I can see in the top corner with my to-do list. I've also got all of this wheat to harvest, which I am really glad that I did now. How do I do this without accidentally harvesting the fibre? I mean, I probably can't. It's kind of unavoidable. That's fine. And one of the great things about having wheat here is that they also drop some hay so I can actually give some to the animals because we were kind of struggling with that before. I do also want to try, and I can't remember if I've done this yet, planting grass starters in random other parts of the town and seeing if they spread so we can give that a go too. They're saying that I'm still on the hunt for like literally thousands of fibre so oh I don't know it's so hard to like know what to save and what to use on other things that I need. But hey, we have another 55 hay for the silo, so hopefully that's going to help us. And all of this wheat, I think I'm going to keep some of it maybe for turning into flour, I'm not entirely sure. So for now, let me just leave it all in here. I mean, worst case scenario, I can turn it into beer as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the grass starters for now because I'm not that far off being able to complete the bundle. I think I need a total of like 3000 fibre for the amount of grass starters that it's asking for. And so obviously we're really quite close. The main problem with that is going to be clay. I'm not going to embarrass myself by clay farming at any time, so that'll kind of just happen when it happens at this point. Oh, it looks like I haven't shipped any cloth either, so let's do that. I do need six for the mill. I can't remember what else the mill needs. Do I have a phone? Did I get a phone? I'm sure I got a phone. Am I imagining that? Probably imagining it. I'm probably mixing that up with another save. Oh no, it's up there. <laughs> I think I just called the wrong person. Um, I'm just going to hang up on Clint. <laughs> let's try and call Robin. So for the buildings, for the mill, we need 225 wood and 75 stone. I've got the cloth on me. That's actually not too bad. I'm just going to take all the wooden stone because I've already forgotten the quantities. I just know I had enough. I really do need to get moving. Oh, wait, look at the way that the grass looks with the recolor mod. I don't actually know which recolor we're using. I'm wondering if it's the mod called Nari's Natural Valley. If so, look how cute this is. This is not what I was expecting. Let's say hello to everyone in there. We might as well get the friendship points, even the minimal ones. And for the crops, I really wish I knew how many spots I had. Have you got anything special for this season other than I really don't want to deal with the winged strawberry just yet? This only grows in the fall, so I'll hold off on the straw peach till probably next year. And I can't remember what I have and haven't grown, so maybe what I should do is just check the community center. So I need a gold star yam and gold star cranberries anything else for specific in here i'm just checking the other bundles just in case i've missed anything oh no the pomegranates did i already get a sap no he doesn't sell them well that's another bit of a roadblock isn't it <laughs> oh and i also must make sure i fish for a walleye this season along with a tiger trout and both have to obviously be iridian quality why wouldn't they be so i think what i'll do is i'm gonna buy like mm, i want to say 30 cranberry seeds and then we're gonna buy maybe 15 yams I'm sad that we don't have pumpkin seeds, so maybe we do just have to fill up on mostly cranberries. But I do want to make sure I plant a bit of each other thing just in case for like ingredients and stuff, so let's make sure we grab some of those. Fairy roses are also like pretty decent, especially for gifts actually, so we'll have some of them. The grape I'm going to ignore because obviously it's essentially a full forage. Nope, summer forage. Oh wait, there, there are saplings. Oh no, I missed out on both of these. Okay, well... <laughs> That's not the realisation I wanted to begin a brand new season with. I've probably also bought way too many seeds now, but that's alright. Let's just get that mill down and where do I want to put it? Hmm. Usually I've put these things towards the top of the farm, but there's not really anywhere that isn't completely obstructive that like makes sense in any way. Like I don't really want it in front of the greenhouse. I mean, I suppose over here kind of makes sense because we're not really using this area for much else, are we? So perhaps we'll put the mill lower down. Oh no, I do have the saplings. <gasps> Thank goodness. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to put you here, I think. Well, we can always move it, right? It doesn't really matter. Oh, do we rush it? No, there's not really any point in that. Oh, that does remind me. Obviously, it says I need beets for sugar. I'm going to need to go to the desert. So let's speak to everyone here first. Really wish I brought a coffee with me. Oh, we've got a cutscene with Sebastian. Let's uh, let's have a chat. Oh, hey, give me one sec. 
I'm just gonna give him the ones that he asked for. Imagine if I just like left. Part of me wishes I picked that now because I've never actually picked that option before and I kind of want to see how he reacts. Does it just like end the cutscene or does he say something to you? I don't know. Have you picked that option before? Let me know. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. Ask him what he's working on. I know this is the option that is the best for him in this scenario. I do freelance work as a programmer. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Ugh, I don't really feel like going out today. Robin! <laughs> No, Robin, I don't need you to rush the building. Oh, hi, Emma. I love the- Robin! <laughs> no, I don't need to rush the building. Zebby, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Did you tell her I'm working? Robin! Stop! <laughs> I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. I imagine how the conversation's going. <laughs> no one takes my job seriously. No one ever bothers Maru when she's working at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? Oh, she's left, okay. I'm just like talking about stuff. Oh, hey Emma, do you want to rush your building? Abigail said she's coming around by the way. I mean, you should probably rush the building. Asking about his career goals. Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here, probably to the city or something. You know, if I'd gone to college, I'd probably be making six figures right now, but I just don't want to be part of that corporate rat race, you know? Well, and I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind the computer than dealing with people face to face. I feel that. I really do. Well, I should get back to work. I need to get this module finished by tomorrow. Has he just got the keyboard on his lap? Can't be good for you. Mind you, he's just sitting on a stool, isn't he? It's not even a proper chair. I've also always wondered why there are two. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh no, wait, wait do I have any food? Yeah, I've got salmon berries. It's all good. Kind of regretting buying so many cranberries now because I needed beets. I even said I needed beets at the beginning of the episode. I'm kind of wondering if I just sell some seeds back to him because I need loads of beets. What if I sell back half? Because 40 is quite a lot still. That might have been a weird decision, but I think I needed to do that. Why am I here again? Was it just to sell the seeds? I think it was. Okay, over to Sandy. <laughs> <gasps> he's a clay oh no two of them kind of getting excited about clay and dig spots for this one because obviously i need them for the fiber seeds and hello sandy have a cactus fruit probably should have read what she was saying about the cactus fruit but that's that's fine okay beet seeds is there anything else that we need whilst we're here no so oh they're only 20 um i'm gonna buy 100 even if it means that we kind of like work through them through the season because they take how long do they take they take six days to mature so we have enough for literally like four harvests Oh no, I needed more than that. Maybe I'll just like leave the beets on the list. But I'll put beets for bridge and ingredients so that I know that it's for a whole separate purpose. The reason I'm not buying them now is because I don't think it matters that I'm not doing it immediately anyway. Like I'll have to go back to Sandy at some point. I do need some more speed grow. Ooh, we have some oil as well and I needed that for something besides... Was it just for the home cooks bundle or did I need it for something else? Gosh, I don't remember. It's been so long since I have recorded this. For some reason, I've only got five in here. Was I intending to plant more corn? What's the deal? Because I don't know. Well, let's just get down the crops that we have anyway. And before I do, I want to see if I've got any speed grow. I do have 18 of them. So what I might do is plant all of my beets with deluxe speed grow. At least that way, it means that I know I can guarantee at least one extra harvest, I'm pretty sure. And maybe I just confine the beets to this little area, or do I leave some separate as well? Maybe. Hmm. Shall I just see how the other crops do first? I've also still got some wheat that isn't actually done yet, which is kind of not ideal, but maybe I end up planting more wheat, I don't know. Oh no, I have a corn plant, so I'm still going to be getting corn. Alright, that's all those. And then... Yeah, I haven't got anywhere near enough seeds, so maybe I shouldn't have sold back those cranberries anymore. What? That's fine, we'll find other things to plant as the season goes on. Plus, I could always go and push for a batch of forage just to increase our foraging level. Like, even if I'm not using them for tea saplings, they're still going to help. Okay, so we weren't short on quite as many seeds as I thought we were, so not quite as much damage done as I thought thought but we still do want a few more spots taken up so let me see if i've got any four seeds to hand and if not hopefully i've got the stuff to make them i mean i don't have much stuff but i've got enough for like maybe a batch so that's fine even that's still not really enough but that's all right i just remembered i did also forget to make some fiber seeds i did get a couple more clay so we can at least fill a few more spots 24 isn't exactly the most but it's still better than nothing the fog is definitely such a struggle at night though i will say Look at that hidden skeleton. How are you even there? What? Are you in the barn? I'm not going to question that. As long as you don't harm my animals, it's fine. Right, what do we now want to stick in the jar? What have we been sticking in there? What is all this? Pickled tea leaves. Okay. So I guess we'll carry on with that for now. Now I think this is a good time to go to sleep. Oh, wait, we have a garden pot. I was going to say something about the green bean then, but I don't have the seed unlocked. So I don't know why I thought about that. And also we're in the wrong season for even buying it. So listen, my brain's struggling. I haven't recorded this 
for a good like few weeks now so oh i forgot about taxes too no oh good grief 25 grand basically okay we owe a lot of taxes wonderful exactly what i wanted to hear great way to start the new year well new season but you know oh got it that's fine um i mean it's not fine but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out I think I'm just going to go sell the is because I really am not going to preserve any of this. Now, what do I have in terms of materials? So I think one of the biggest things I do really need to work on is being able to upgrade my bar. No, the barn's already upgraded. Are we fully upgraded everywhere now? Oh, it's Penny's birthday too, so we should probably go get her a gift. I do at least want to remember to actually milk the cows today because I kind of forgot yesterday. No, I don't mean the goat. There we go. And I also noticed it's raining, which means this is a good day to catch those fish. Um, it looks like I haven't shipped these yet. What do I need them for? I guess it's the other home cooks bundle, isn't it? Yes, it is. We need more rice, more sugar, more milk, all of the things. Maybe what I'll do is for Penny, go ahead and give her a dinosaur egg. I know that she at least likes those things and this one's already in quality. So maybe the quality might help us in some way. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's the thing. It's just the taste of like, love and neutral that doesn't make a difference. Question mark. I mean, I've been saying this the entire time I've been playing. Right, I've got my rod. Do I have any fishing food by any chance just to like help me out? I mean, I don't want to waste an entire seafoam pudding on this. I was kind of hoping I had a trout soup, so maybe I'll have to go buy one. Oh no, I've got fish tacos. We'll use that. How long do we have on these trees? We've got 10 days on both of them. You have no idea how relieved I am that past me actually did this, and I'm pretty sure it would have been because of a comment from somewhere, but you know what? I'll take it. Whoever prompted me to plant those trees, thank you. What's on this board today? Sam wants a red mushroom. I can probably help with that. Hello, Pam. I'm not staying dry. I mean, my straw hat isn't exactly waterproof, but you know. Wow, thanks for the trash. And I did just realise I forgot to check this board yesterday. Giant omelette or a thousand wood in a week. I'm going to accept that because we always need more wood and I'm hoping I should be able to clear that. I wanted to see if Penny was hanging out at the library yet, but I think I'm way too early. There is a lid on this bin though, with nothing inside it. Wonderful. Oh, and actually I need to be here anyway because I need to get my pickaxe from Clint. Hello, thank you so much for that. I might have to check back at home if I can scrounge anything together to sell to get rid of this tax debt because it's kind of yikes. Especially the amount. What's in Gus's bin though? Trash bread! <laughs> we do love the trash bread here. Penny's not even here. What? Where is she? Oh, chip down for her. <gasps> oh my god, we just found that? I spent half the time that's my very last artifact, so um, I'm kind of happy that that's there. Wait, is this Penny's in the trailer? I forgot for a minute that I had NPC map locations because obviously uh, for any of you who tuned into streamers, thank you so much, but I got used to not having map locations and just having to guess. Oh, she's there. She just blended in with a wall. <laughs> Happy birthday, Penny. You remember my birthday? Thanks. This is great. Oh, okay. I thought you'd be a bit more excited about a whole dinosaur egg and an Iridian quality one, but that that's fine, I guess. So we're on five and nearly six hearts with her. I think I should just go donate the artifact on the way anyway. Get that out of the way because I still can't believe I got that quite so easily. I'm not entirely sure why I've come to the beach. I guess the artifact spots potentially. Is this new too? No. I can sell it though. Um, I don't remember why I came here. Okay, well, never mind. I am leaving again. <laughs> Suppose I will swap these out whilst I'm here. Oh, and I still haven't repaired this bridge. Oh yeah, because I don't need to. I can just swim. I completely forgot about that. Nice little rainy swim. Will you be clay? No, you will not. Oh well, the forage is all money. All right, let's see if I can catch this tiger trout and the walleye because both look like they're in the water now already. Have a bit of a fish taco and let's do this. Hey, there's our walleye. It's only gold quality. Hmm, okay. I did get a perfect catch though, so maybe I need to be a high level. Did I get a perfect catch? Wait, I can't remember. Oh no. Maybe I do need the seafood pudding. There's another one. All right, there's the Iridium one. Okay, maybe I didn't get the perfect that time. Now I just need a tiger trout, which I don't think this is going to be. Just caught a salmon and now I'm really craving a salmon in real life. And now I just missed a fish because I'm hungry. <laughs> it's very typical of me. This one could be it, but there's no way this is going to come out of Iridium because I'm missing... Oh my god, no, please. How am I going to get an Iridium rainbow trout? I mean, not what? Rainbow trout? Wait, that's a catfish, first of all. But also, what bobber have I got? The trap bobber. Why am I using a, like, dress spinner or something? Wait, does the dress spinner do that for me? Am I imagining that? No, increases the bite rate. It's the quality bobber I want. Okay, let's see if we've got any of those at home. How much fishing do I have left? Uh, five minutes. Okay. Fishing buff, I mean. What I might have to do is keep a little stockpile of fish and sell them directly to Willy. And then I can go from there to the desert and buy the beet seeds, which I might not do today, but it's the thing I can do. Quality bobber anywhere? No. What was it again? Solar essence? 
Copper bar, solar essence, and sap. So we'll make one of them. How many did I need? I guess I'll just start with one. Get some more gold smelting since I'm up here. Then we'll try again. Hopefully I can still catch it from here. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna be sad if it despawns at 7 as well. I mean, I don't see it in the water anymore. No, it should definitely still be there. 6 a.m. till 7 p.m. Oh, it's any weather. I don't even need it to be raining. Well, I'm still gonna try. I'm here with fishing buff and quality bobber, so this probably isn't it though. Nope, just another salmon. Come on, tiger trout. Oh no, the fog's back. Damn, I'm having some poor luck with this tiger trout. Still haven't hooked it literally at all. Maybe I do just need to try it on a not rainy day because there will be less different types of fish in here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because even though I'm kind of wasting my fish buff, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Although, whilst I've got it on, have I caught the angler yet? Yes, I have. Okay, never mind. I don't need to do that then. Right, well, in the meantime, I might as well still donate the walleye I've got. Let's get... Oh, it's a small glow ring. That actually sucks. Okay. <laughs> So literally just the tiger trout for the entire fish tank to go. Truly did not think that would be one of the ones I would complete, like, I mean, not first, but certainly, you know, like I really thought it was going to be one of the last. I can barely see through this fog today, but it's fine. We will uh, we'll squint and we will do this. The reason I come up back to the mines is because, oh no, I was going to come and sell the sword and the glow ring, but I'm just going to lose all the money tomorrow, aren't I? All right, well, never mind on that one. I do definitely need to be able to chip away at some of the debt though, so maybe we do sell some of it. I'm thinking just those and then the rest I can keep for now. Kind of trying to split it a bit. I'm also just having a look if there's anything in these chests I can spare to sell. I have got a lot of diamonds. I'll sell like 10 of them. I mean, it's barely going to make a dent. I don't really want to go garnet farming again. Not right now anyway. I mean, hey, we just need to chip away at it, don't we? Whoa, 2,500 on the ancient fruit. Maybe I sell one of them. I obviously do want to keep some for seeds for next year and as for the wheat i think i'll sell like some of it because this is kind of a lot i mean hey we're making progress that's all that really matters right oh nope not the hazelnuts we need them for seeds i wonder if i just make some summer seeds to sell as they are like these 70 like don't they usually cost something to sell i mean i can try right maybe i'm not going to sell all of them at once just in case they don't do that so if we go like we'll sell 10 and we'll just see what happens. <laughs> I could have sworn these are like worth something if you try to sell them. Oh, they are. Wait, 180. Why didn't it show me a minute ago? I mean, it's another grand. And I think I'm going to take down a couple of these trees as well, because even though they're cool, I really don't need them. Like we'll have some of them spread. Maybe we just have a continuous like rolling supply and then I can set off some spare mushrooms. I do also need to make sure I save one for Sam as well for that request. Was that today or yesterday? Wait, two days. Okay, so I can give that to him tomorrow. All right, let's see how much more progress we've made. I mean, it said 24.8 rand or something, right? So we have made an eight grand den. Okay, so we've got like, still a lot of money to go. We're about a third of the way there. Oh, there we go. This is towards its standing debt. So yeah, I still have literally nothing. All right, let's make sure we get that milk in today. I don't know if that was maybe my first goat milk because I haven't shipped any yet. I'm probably going to ship this one. And I know I don't need the eggs anymore, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and turn them into mayo. Ooh, I completely forgot about the wheat in here. Okay, let's go grab our scythe. That does mean today's probably a good day to go get those beets then, isn't it? So if I pretty much just pick up some of the fish that I want to sell to Willy, it'll be some of these bullheads, maybe a tuna, probably one of these lingcod. Basically things that I don't think I'm going to end up needing for stuff. I've got some iridium salmon in here and I've already got salmon in the other chest so I can sell that too. And I'm going to sell a load of silver red mushrooms because I don't really need them. Another thing to work towards that tax debt. What else can I just sell off somewhere? I mean, he has his clothes today so I can't use him. I don't know if the coral sells at Willy's though so maybe not that. I basically just need enough for like a decent amount of beet seeds again. However, I still can't afford to get to the desert itself so we'll take a warp totem with us and maybe we'll trade for a few more just so I don't kind of just use one up just for this. I'm thinking if I prioritize actually doing the fishing first then I can have more to sell to Willy in one go. So let's see if we can get that tiger trout. And look there are definitely a lot less different types of fish in the water today so that should help us a lot. I'm not even bothering with the treasure because I don't want to risk, unless I know it's going to be a small mouth bass for sure, I don't want to risk losing the iridium quality on some loot. The loot goblin within is being well behaved, just for now. What's with all these salmon? I'm going to be really upset if I don't even hook one of these fish before I run out of quality bobber. I was thinking one will be enough, like surely I can get like one tiger trout within 20 fish, right? I think this is it and I think I already ruined it before even touching the treasure. Oh my god, what quality are you? <gasps> it's iridium! Oh my god, let's go, we're out of here. 
I'm done with that. Gonna have a Joja Cola. Definitely very sanitary having just fished out the river. But you know what? It's free hydration. I'll take it. Hello, Willy. I need to sell you some stuff. So I don't need that, that, any of those. All of these crab pot things that are spare. The Lincod. Let's not sell the tiger trout. And these. There we go. That gave us a little bit of money that we can spend. So should we go do that first? Yeah. Like technically I didn't need to use the totem anymore, but I am really low on money. So makes sense not to have to use it. <gasps> are you new? You are not new. This means I can sell it. I'm probably going to wait towards the end of the week to do the wood as well. Have we got anything that I can give to Sandy? Does she like wild plums? I mean, we can try, right? Love some fresh fruit. Too hot out there sometimes. Aw, I love that. I'll tell Emily you said hi too. So beet seeds, we need at least 25. So we need 15 for that extra home cook bundle. We also need 10 for the mare's fridge. And then for ingredients, I'm just going to get another maybe 10. I think that's still too many. I don't think we need many beets at all. It might be something silly like three, but it's best to have spares, you know? All right, let's get that last fish in there. River fish complete. What's the reward? We have... Oh, it's more bait. Okay, um, well, uh, I don't care because we've completed the room. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Of all the community center rooms I was worried about, it was this one. And we freaking did it. What a way to start 2024. I mean, I'm pretty proud of that. We freaking did that. And then tomorrow, hopefully we'll have a copper pan. I do like me a bit of panning. All right, where can I find Sam? Sam is at the Jojo Mart. I have a mushroom for him. And since I do have two and a half minutes of fishing buff left, I'm wondering if I've got any other fish that I can handle in the meantime. Looking like the stonefish and the lava eel are the two I need the most. I don't think I'm going to manage the lava eel with this. Oh, I forgot I could buy stuff here. What am I here for again? Sam. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna manage the lava eel with this amount of fishing buff, but I can do the stonefish definitely. There you go. Thank you for the 75 gold. I'm curious to see if they take away any of that amount of money overnight. Like, does it not go towards our taxes if we don't ship it? Oh no, I forgot to trade for more desert totems, but that's fine. Let's see if we can get us a stonefish and any other ghost fish and stuff we get, I'll just uh, shove in the shipping bin. That can go towards our debt, even though it's gonna not do very much for us, but. Basically, the sooner I can clear this, the better, because otherwise I literally can't make any money. Pretty soon I'm going to want to start setting my sights on the house upgrades, because the Brewer's Bundle needs iridium quality all of the drinks. Or not all the drinks, but like, you know, some of them, a good, a good portion of them. For that, I need the basement, because that is where the casks go, and that's how I even get the recipe for them. Plus, obviously, all the free ones that come with it in the first place. I hope that's still a thing in this playthrough. Imagine if we just don't get any anymore. I'm going to be really upset. But I also would be very unsurprised. <laughs> Oh, and this time I think I actually will bother to get the uh, loot because I don't need to have it be iridium quality anymore. Actually, am I wasting this quality bother? No, because I finished all those bundles, so I don't need it anymore. What am I even worried about? Come on, stonefish, you've got to be in there somewhere. I've only got 20 seconds of buff left, but I guess I might as well catch it. This one's acting a bit differently, so this might be the stonefish. Come on, be the stonefish. I'm probably just going to sell it after but it doesn't need to know that i don't think it can understand me but oh it's a really quality too oh my god 200 gold yeah that's going straight in the shipping bin when i get home okay so these can all leave i don't need them i'm also gonna get rid of all the green algae as well i don't have a use for those either and let's process this newspaper because it could be but is not cloth okay i also spy a few more red mushrooms and i don't need my fishing rod anymore we'll go with cutting down you I wanted to see if I had any flour already. I mean, I could just make a few, see what those are worth. So the wheat is worth 15 on its own. If the flour's worth more, it might just be worth me processing all of it, but I'm not going to do it yet until I know that it's actually worth more. I mean, I might as well process some of the wheat and use it for the cooking. And I know for a fact that I still need this maple syrup. Hopefully with the fog, I don't mess up planting these beets. Oh my God, can I? <laughs> Nobody saw that. Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. Definitely was not struggling to side some wheat. And I'm very much breaking my rule of like not liking crops being done at different times. But we really need these beets done. And then it means I can plant some other stuff afterwards if I want to. I think I do have every spot. This looks like a gap here, but that's because of the um, messy crops mod. It kind of like unlines them up. Ooh, we have another corn ready. We need that for the oil. Grab all our mushrooms whilst we're here and I'm, yeah I'm pretty sure I'm convinced that at this point they're definitely going to stay as silver quality forever because I'm like 90% sure at this point that it has been over a year since we got the cave right? I It must be. I could be wrong. Maybe what I'll also do is sell like half of my winter seeds. I should have enough of those already and that's kind of hilarious seeing that. Wait I wonder if I can plant the rice in the house because is it 15 rice I need for that bundle? Because if it is I think I've only got 14 there which is 
kind of funny so maybe we plant that i don't really want to water it every day though i think i'm too lazy to water it yeah i am i very much am all right i appear to be hungry so i should probably eat something like as soon as possible and then i do really want to make sure i get some gifts out to emily this week and i'm gonna go with a couple of sweet peas obviously we know that she loves gems but not gonna make a difference there's the bowl to be removed. You have no idea how excited I am about the pan. Maybe it will be our new hat from now on. I'm kind of bored of the straw hat at this point. Okay, another couple of grand. I think we're on like 14 to go. 14 grand. Ooh, we got a rainbow shell from here today. It says I've not shipped one of them either. That's also another hundred towards our debt. And it looks like we do still keep our money that we sell directly to shops. So I guess if we like are in desperate need of actual money, then we just don't put it in the shipping bin. Kind of feels wrong. <laughs> You know what though it's fine let's do some dynamo have i done that at all yet i don't know also is there anything ready in here today i don't think there will be a little too early for that we've got the bot choice tomorrow though i was also planning to go and trade for a magic rock candy but i'm literally only one prismatic shard short so we're not doing that in that case let's also bring lewis's bottle of truffle oil because he is in need of that we also need a star fruit for kent i think clearing a few things off our journal today would probably do us some good Oh no, I think I just made tea. I did. Oops, that's fine. I'll just uh, add another tea leaf to the pickle jars. That's fine. I was kind of slowly trying to make my way through the coffee beans. At this point though, I'm kind of debating just selling half of them. because They do sell for quite a lot on their own. Wizard is after a super cucumber. I don't think I've got one, but I'm going to accept it for now. Fire quartz in the trash at Gus's. There is a broken CD up at the uh, George and Evelyn's house, but no, just, just no. Here you go, Lois. You got the oil? Let me see. It's high quality. Very slick. Great. Thank you. So has he just like opened it and like, I don't know, poked it? It was like, I don't know why. How does he? I'm going to stop asking questions. Just take the money and run. Now I wanted to come in and find Kent, but it looks like we're coming in on some band practice. I think I might just accidentally skip a piece of dialogue, but uh, anyway, we're trying to start a band, but we still don't know what kind of music to make. There's too many possibilities. Say, Emma, what kind of music do you like? Hmm. Someone who is doing a challenge like this. What do we think? I'm gonna go with the high energy dance music. Hey, you know what? That's exactly the kind of style I've been thinking about for the band. What do you say, Sebastian? Should we do this? Okay. He seems like so unimpressed. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Emma. With my guitar skills and Sebastian's wizardry on the synthesizer, we're gonna be a screaming success. I'm convinced of it. Now I just need to find someone to play the drums. We all know who that's gonna be. Now where is Kent? I guess he's not here. Why didn't I check the map? I keep forgetting I've got it again. Oh, he's literally outside. Did I walk past him? I must have done. I feel like he kind of blends in with the floor more now that we've got this recolor, but here you go. Jodie won't see from out here. Looks juicy. She'll love it. Thank you so much. Well, thank you also for the... Oh, it's only 500 gold. I mean, that's fine, I guess. We've walked into an argument. I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. You're being childish, Hayley. I do the vast majority of the work in this house and you know it. Oh, it's that new girl from the farm. I mean, I've only lived here for like a year and a half, but that, you know, that, that that's fine. She has a name, you know. Yeah, I have a name. Hey, I bet you understand my point of view here. I'm really sorry to involve you in this, Emma. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? Emphasis on one weekly job. Haley appreciates your wisdom. Oh, interesting. What does that mean? All right, you win. I guess this could be my job every week, then there won't be any reason to argue over it. Exactly. Thanks, Emma. That was a great solution. Anyway, have a little gift. Thank you. Such a pretty flower. I love to give some of these to my friend Sandy. Being in the desert for so long makes her miss the greenery here. Are you friends with Clint? He's a nice guy, if you get to know him. Did he, like, put those words in your mouth or something? Because it sounds like something Clint would say. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend she didn't say that to me and head out of here. Let's go grab that copper pan. The reflection really looks like he's, like, floating but upside down. Hi, Emma. It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. Maybe it just like crumbled, I don't know. C couldn't tell you. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. Flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. So I wonder how that works all the way in Ginger Island. You know what this means, right? It means we can start panning for ore. I think you'll find there's more than ore in there. Here, I got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? Well, thank you very much. How very kind of you. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. Will do. It also very much looks like it would fit my head very well. Oh, that looks so funny. Yep, this is it. This is the look. Although, oh, it's really bothering. Why isn't it like, is it asymmetrical? I think it's asymmetrical. That's going to bug me. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know what to wear anymore. I'm kind of bothered by this. Oh, I don't know if I like it, but then I don't have to have an entire inventory slot for it anymore. It's also like kind of protective, you know, like the straw hat doesn't really give me much protection. It's also waterproof. Straw hat definitely is not waterproof. 
All right, Dino Mayor, what's the deal with you? Okay, I have sold it before, so I'll just sell it again. All right, well, I guess for the rest of this day, I'm probably gonna go and try and farm for some more garners to sell. Which, like, obviously, I did just say I don't want to do very often, but, I mean, it's a day, right? I was hoping I'd have a bunch of spicy eel, but I don't have a single one. Unless I left it up at the mines. Probably not, though, right? We'll see what happens. Probably gonna need more than five coffees, though. I'm definitely also gonna need better food. Even if it's just some regular mushrooms. I'm literally just gonna turn all my iron off and I'll straight into bombs. Because they're kind of expensive to buy. Maybe I'll even sell some spare bars thinking about it. Although I don't really get that much for them. We'll see what happens after today. I'm certainly not saying no to any fibre. Let's also grab the gold. We might as well have something to smelt. I see a node down there. I have already got- Oh, I am low on health. Hang on. Hang on. Let's like, not die. They have also been kind of loosely trying to slay some of the monsters. Some of the drops I need for materials and stuff. And otherwise, money, you know. How many am I getting from this one? See, that's not bad at all. So if I put that there, I can actually track them. Six so far, that's going to make a good dent. Like if I can clear most of this debt just from today, then I can stop worrying and then we can actually start using money for normal things. I'm going to go for the squid kid because, well, I was going to say squid ink, but we didn't get any. Plus I do also kind of want to chip away at this combat level. Ah! At level 9 we can make the Iridium Band and that's going to help us out quite a lot. Got quite a lot of benefits to it. Got a few on this one. Uh, let's blow this up. Ow. Okay, so I'm noticing now it comes up. Actually, I think May told me how much HP you need to drop to for it to show up, but I can't remember. It becomes extra scary though. <laughs> I'm also going to need geos for a whole load of other things as well. Uh, let's not have the coffee run out. That's a lot of slime. Do I feel confident enough to deal with this? Yeah. Ow. Run. We've got this. It's okay. All right, so I think I'm going to call it on this floor now. So how did we do? First of all, let me put away anything mining related that I don't need up here, including any weapons I need to sell as well. So we've got 31 gunners. That's 9.3. That's going to make a huge amount of progress towards clearing that debt. Ow. I just realized as well, I should be really careful because the monsters out like off the farm don't hurt anywhere near as much as the ones on the farm. Maybe let's not enter the farm with low health. Oh, purple slime. Maybe not purple slime. I thought that was purple. Eh. Right, get those straight in the shipping bin along with that mushroom. And you know what? I think I will go ahead and sell like even half of these beans. Oh no, did I just... Oh, I just juiced the corn. I needed the corn for the oil. I thought I was going to put some coffee in there, but I missed basically. Okay, let's try that again. Run those into there. And let's head to bed before we die because there's kind of a lot of monsters today. All right, how have we done? We made 17 grand. I think that should actually cover our debt now. We should hopefully actually have a little bit of money left over even after that. And yes, there we go. Are we square again? I think we might be good. Crispy bass recipe from Kent. Wonderful. Another one for the collection. There's our flower. So if I grab that, how much is this worth? It's 25. I still need to make some for the home quicks bundle anyway. So it is worth my while turning it into flower anyway. I do need to save some to put in a keg. So I'll save like that many and then the rest is going to go on flower. Because even if like I cook with some of it and the rest perhaps I sell. Still going to be worth more than if I did anything else with it. Or like just sold it straight. Oh, I do have a super cucumber. I wonder if I still got that quest then. Oh, I do. Okay, I can run that over to the wizard today. Say hello to all the animals and also grab the milk pail because the cows are ready with more milk. And I'm pretty sure we should have our first crops ready in the cave today. So let me also bring the beet seeds. I don't think I'm going to have enough. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, not even close to enough. I'm trying to think what I'm going to plant in place of these. And the answer is I don't know because I officially have like probably enough beets now. Oh, another one just came out. Probably going to be yams, I think. I just realized as well I did just leave the cave without actually harvesting most of it. But now I'm just going to keep all of the beets. And i got to figure out what to give Elliot for his birthday. I've not actually shipped any bok toys either, so we'll ship the silver ones. Now we only care about liked gifts for Elliot, so... I mean, does he like melon? Does he like eggplant? Maybe melon? It just has to be gold quality. Which is going to have to hope, but then also I think I'm going to bring the wizard Void Essence as well. Even though it's not got any quality to it, it still chips away at the friendship a bit. What about you, traveling cart? Do you have anything I need? The main thing I... Oh, to show the seat. Should I grab that? Yeah, I'm going to grab it. The main thing I really need is a green bean starter. However, I'm pretty sure there's the chance of us finding it in Skull Caverns too. 
it is a really good luck day and I know I'm not gonna get like as much time as I would usually like in there they're saying that I think I've only got three staircases so I don't know if it's even worth it but anyway enjoy the uh super cucumber thank you for the extra 250 gold also have this whilst I'm at it thank you very much for this specimen of all the elements I've studied, the void does continue to elude me in terms of understanding. That being said, much caution is needed when experimenting with it. Lest I... never mind, thank you again, Emma. Oh, did you almost just overshare? <laughs> we'll just, uh, pretend we didn't hear anything. I do also realise as well, when I saw about those debts for the taxes, obviously it takes away the stuff for the first day too, so we did actually pay a lot on the first day and then it was more after that, so we were a bit ahead of what I thought. Now, Marnie, can I please have a pig? Can only afford one spending basically all of our gold again and what are we gonna go with crisp brand this time i'm gonna go with twiglet i mean like i don't know if you could call it a crisp i mean for us like cheetos for example is still a crisp slash chip these aren't cheesy i don't know how to describe them i guess like they are kind of in a way marmite flavor but they're really really good if you like marmite or that kind of thing i love them a lot of people i know hate them genuinely one of my favorite foods now let's see what's going on with elliot's friendship before i even go to him okay we've got three and a half hearts ish I was just checking that because I couldn't remember if I had enough to get into his cabin if he wasn't there yet. Lewis, what have you been throwing away? I'll take that newspaper. Might be cloth. Is he in here? No, he is not. Maybe he's on the pier. Kind of wish I brought my bait with me now. I'm not going to buy any especially to switch out the crab pots. That's fine. There he is. Would you like a melon? You don't like melons? What's wrong with you? Never mind. Okay. How much did we lose from that? Because this, this time we actually knew how much friendship we had. Oh, we literally lost like half a heart. That's quite a lot. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that's actually quite bad. Okay, well, check all the other bins and then, oop, that was very, very close. I would also like to buy some more stuff at, am I? <laughs> it looks like I'm in the bin or like on the bin. Going for some true dumpster diving. I completely lost my train of thought when that happened now. I have no idea what I was even saying. Um, well, I know I was here. Oh wait, pumpkin seed. Hello? Okay, th no, wait. These weren't here the other day, were they? Oh my god, I scrolled right past them like I- Okay, well we're gonna do pumpkins for the second half of the season now that- <laughs> Oh no! Wait, no, because we have deluxe speed grow. So let me buy- oh, I can only afford like six. I'm gonna fill the rest with wheat. Good grief. <laughs> Not again. Was there anything else there that I like haven't planted before that I need? I don't think I need any of this for the community center. Yeah, nothing like super exciting. Those backyard crops really like messed me up. I'm pretty sure that's probably what happened in summer as well, isn't it? I can't believe I did it again, but hey, at least I remembered or like realized, I mean, before the end of the episode this time. Like technically we still have enough for two lots of pumpkins. Okay, let's have a think then whilst we're here. I was trying to think if I could sell anything else to Pierre, but I don't think it's going to be worth it because I'm probably only going to get like two more seeds. So we'll just kind of pretend that it's all okay and um, at least we can have some super speedy wheat. What also sucks is I think I'm completely out of corn, although I think I can put sunflowers in there, so I'm going to grab a couple of those and I do have a couple more corn. So that'll contribute and hopefully, obviously in time, we've got more corn plants coming up and the one that is already producing. Oh, we are almost halfway there though. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So crafting wise, I can officially make eggs now. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. I don't know if I was waiting for a shed or something. Like, do we already try and go and get the wood? Although the juice isn't ready for three days. Oh, I don't know what to do. No, I'm going to go chop all the wood down. And the reason I say that is because I think when I go through all of the desert, all of the forest and everywhere, I'm going to have enough wood, like specifically to finish this quest, especially if I pair it with some coffee. Can I make triple shots yet? I don't actually remember. Let's have a look. No, I don't have the recipe yet. And I think it's literally because it costs five grand. That's okay. We will survive. Let's go. I definitely did see some trees in the forest. So we'll go and grab those today. And then the weekend is for literally any other location. Damn, these chanterelles are really good for hunger. I'm probably also done with beets as well. So let's uh, remove that. Our list is clear again. All right, I think I have all the forest cut down now. I also had to obviously like deal with monsters and stuff in the process, which is like, it's fine. But we have like 400 wood. We did get a little bit more on the farm as well. We've also got this stuff from the wood chipper. So let's actually have a look out of curiosity. So we've got 413. If I collect this from here, does that now count towards it? It does. I mean, <laughs> obviously a wood chipper isn't exactly going to give us like loads of wood, but uh, I mean, is there any point me using it right now? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, it's something I suppose I do have enough hardwood, like, you know, to not have to worry about later. I think that'll do. Let's get some sleep. I don't even know if I sold anything today, so let's see if we get any money. I mean, okay, I mean, it's something. <laughs> 
Also, now mail. Gus wants a lobster for 800 gold. That is a very easy win, actually. We're going to go for that. Now, before I use stuff on kegs, I do want to make... Oh, I completely forgot it's so much more expensive. I was going to say I want to make a few more chests. We are kind of running out of space for stuff. And by stuff, I mostly mean like fish related. Why am I worried about storing fish? I'm not even fishing that much. I think it's because I also want to store these bobbers somewhere. So let's just put all that stuff in here. It's this chest I'm the most worried about. Although at some point, there's not going to be three stacks of fiber. I also have no use for the training rod anymore. Right, so wood wise for now, should we go ahead and use all of this on kegs? I think we will. Let's go and see how many we can make. I don't think it's going to be all that many, but we might as well try. Actually, we'll grab these trees here on the way as well. I think the main thing we're probably going to be short on is like copper, but let's see. So I can make a total of 17 kegs, so everything is, you know, as expected, doubled. And it's actually the wood we ran out of, although we don't have many copper bars left. Whilst I'm waiting for that copper to smelt, let's hand the dwarf a gift. I might as well make some progress. Enjoy the treasure. Nothing else I want from you right now. I don't really have any money to shop. Let's get more gold going. And with some of this gold, I think I actually am going to sell it. So we'll sell a few iridium. And then if we sell like this many gold bars, that should do. So we'll have a little row of kegs up here, like a double sided row. I think I'm going to move this wood chipper. That doesn't need to be in that specific spot. Maybe where am I going to put you? I don't really need it, to be honest. You can just hang out here. Then a few more kegs over here. Maybe I move the worm bin because I don't even really want it, to be honest. Ooh, the flower. I forgot about that. So for now, if I just shove it all in the home cooks bundle thing, just like ready to go. Now, worm bin. I think I'm going to keep it out in case I like want it, but I'm just going to tuck it in the corner. <laughs> you don't need to look at it all the time. Now, first things to put in the kegs. Um, I'm going to go with melons. Melon wine is a good shout. Oh my god, this feels like such a good moment. Can't believe we burned through literally all our wood again, though. And what's going on in here? Okay, one more day on the beats. So tomorrow I need to replant with a load of stuff. Hopefully, am I going to have money to even do that? Hmm. Yes, yes, I will, because I just sold a load of bars. I also remembered we also got a couple of trees up here, too. And I was going to avoid cutting these for all the wood going in the water, but it doesn't matter because we can swim for it after. All we got to do is hop in and collect it all. There it all is. Problem solved. Ooh, maybe I grab all of this ore as well. Kind of been a while since I've done this. I'm pretty sure I can also probably pan from here too, so let's give that a go. What are we going to get? Some gold ore. Oh no. Uh, I seem to be stuck. Okay, there we go. I just had to tap out and into my game again. <gasps> oh my god, the panic. I couldn't do anything other than dive and resurface, so that was kind of scary for a minute. If you happen to get that issue, just, um, just tap out, tap back in again. It'll all be fine. Also making sure to till any tiles that may be potential dig spots, which are shadows that don't match the lily pads on the surface. Get a load of bonus goodies that way. Mostly geodes today. I've got some clay too though, and I really have been needing that. I think there's going to be another one over here. Oh, an entire dwarf gadget. Wait, that's new as well. What about these ones? Oh my gosh, all sorts of stuff. That was a pretty successful digging session, I think. Wait, can I can I please get out the water? There we go. Now, what I also came here for was to go and sell off my extra weapons and rings. That's going to give me another significant boost in cash because these weapons are actually worth more than they used to be. I'm pretty sure the bone swords used to be 350, but now they're 900 and I'm not going to complain at that. I think I'm also, once again, going to just go ahead and donate this new artifact anyway. Ooh, what is it? What's our reward? Uh burn offering i really wish we could just sell these because like i i can't even throw it away okay then um i think it's a wall item as well yep i'm pretty sure oh no okay it's gonna live in a chest probably forever we do have enough wood now for a couple more kegs but i think i'm just gonna wait because i would quite like to build a shed i think that's also gonna help us though to be honest i don't really even need this big of a section for the animals anymore i might even like create a path across there do we have any paths left over i do okay so if we say like maybe from here we're gonna give like technically to the animals i mean obviously they're free to roam around like any of the space but i was gonna say when it comes to grass they can just have this area but i don't think it even matters like obviously when we plant it we don't really get any spread of it they eat it really quickly and they end up just living on hay i'll stick a path down here to separate it and then we can oh i'm too short we use this section probably for more processing machines and like maybe sheds and stuff oh i forgot that it cost double to make i was like i'm sure i had enough like tiles to place and then obviously i went to make two more and it used both of those on one single piece okay that's done all right I'm gonna allow myself this early night. So at this point, I'm pretty much just waiting for tomorrow for Jays for staircases and to chop wood in the desert. So how much money are we making? Two-ish grand. Oh no, what am I gonna replace that with then? 
I feel like that's not going to give us all that many seeds. Oh well, let's get the Queen of Swords out of the way. So we've got the fruit salad and I did just see something moon related, but I missed exactly what it said. So it's going to be a surprise for all of us. I mean, some of you may have already noticed it. I certainly did not. I should probably clear the coop out as well because I've not been in here a couple of days. Ooh, we've got our first wool. Hopefully I can make a loom soon. Oh, and we actually got a quality one for the animal bundle already. Right, do I have the loom recipe? Yes, I do. Two pine tar. I think that's what I'm missing is one of the pine tar. I'm probably going to try and also sell some things directly to Pierre today. And goat's milk, come here. Thank you very much. Also very much hoping the merchant doesn't have anything I actually need today. Let's just go ahead and get all this rice in the mill. I'm pretty sure I'm literally going to be one single rice short. If that's the case, I'll just buy the last one. Ooh, we can actually go and complete one of the home cooks bundles today as well because I did need 100 flour for that. We'll go ahead and drop that off, definitely. And I might as well take the hay whilst I'm at it. Before we do anything though, I do want to go ahead and pick all of my beets. What's quite nice is that we seem to be getting quite a few extra ones today. I wonder if that was something to do with whatever moon thing it said, because I'm pretty sure I read the word harvest. We also got another corn, there we go. Ooh, an extra one too. Very much needed. So I'm going to have to sort out how many I'm going to be putting in the mill and how many I'm going to be keeping for other things and then maybe some of the rest I sell. I do still have quite a lot of beets at the ready though. So what have I got here? 20, 76. I've got 92 at the moment, which still isn't quite enough. Although I did already harvest a few. Wait, there's rice in here. I'm just going to shove all of it in the mill. Okay, what was I doing? Right, beets. Beets are in here that should be fine that should be enough for the sugar so hopefully i can have these ones join the rest and it won't mess up there we go right that's for a bundle that's for a bundle these are to sell which aren't really going to give me that much money maybe i also sell these mushrooms whilst i'm there no i'm going to regret selling the common mushrooms we won't do that maybe the morels or like you know some of them all right merchant what have you got let's pet the pig and then we've got some yam that i don't really need sea cucumber mead wine egg blue jazz nothing particularly interesting okay never mind also got to remember to bring stuff to trade at the desert as well so if we go with two more of those and then stuff at triple shots i haven't really got much for spicy eel so we'll go with just a couple of rubies hopefully at some point i'll be able to acquire more and then where are all my jades there they are thing is i know i harvested like it was 92 wasn't it but oh it's a cheaper today because of the moon thing okay perfect well i'm gonna buy another i'm gonna say 20 wheat obviously for the hay 25 pumpkins some of them are gonna be speed grown some of them not what else do we want oh no the indecision probably gonna be yams yeah we'll do a load of yams okay we spent all of our money <laughs> maybe i'm gonna have to take a totem to the desert then whoops i mean that's fine Ooh, cookies nice what about in this one regular trash has lewis got anything for us not a single thing and before we do anything let's go ahead and donate the couple of things that we can so for the fodder bundle we're gonna leave this behind ready to go and then the home cooks bundle this home cooks bundle we've got the last thing which is a hundred flour oh complete breakfast um i don't know how i feel about that i'm just gonna bring them home with me they're worth kind of some money could sell them not even really worth giving to alex because it's not really gonna matter i mean like maybe it might be worth it to see what his dialogue does but other than that like friendship wise it's not gonna do enough for us i just realized i never actually sold stuff at pierre's could have got more seeds i actually need more seeds yeah we're gonna do that i'm here for the totem that's really all i came back for <laughs> definitely exactly what happened that's like if i sell these directly to pierre am i gonna get more for them today we'll see what happens i suppose i also have to make sure how much wood do i need 400 and something i'm hoping there's gonna be enough in the desert for that i think there will be there were already quite a lot of trees as we came in this week there is also one at the bus stop that i can grab right yeah can you take these those those and those and there we go we can actually afford more yams now I think that's actually more than enough for the amount of space that we've got. Let's go handle the wood and stuff first. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Look at all the trees. <laughs> Again, hate doing this when not every single tree is done, but what can we do? Also got all of our trades out the way too. Right, let's see how far I can get before the quest completes. The wood that I just lost into the pond over there, I won't be able to get back because unfortunately we can't jump in that one for some reason. Maybe the desert water's too hot. <laughs> There we go, we got the quest done. I didn't even like barely make a dent in this place actually. All right, well, for now let's just replant the seeds that I've got. So I've got 21 of them. I don't know if that's more or less than the amount of trees I've chopped down. I mean, either way, they're still being kind of replenished. I think it's actually more because I'm pretty sure most of the pine trees on this little section weren't even close to being done. And please, there is no way that I can reach that panning spot. Oh my god, can I even get... I'm not even going to get there in time. Hang on. I'm calling it now. It's going to despawn the second I get there. Okay, it's not despawning, but I, I really can't reach it. These spots should be illegal. Wait, 
Can I jump into this at all? No, I can't. I can't even jump in the water, let alone dive. Right, let's collect that gold reward. It's only 850, but that's fine. It was still an incentive to pick up all the wood. And now time to replenish myself on as many salmon berries that I can shove in my mouth. I think we're good to go. Gosh, they're so tedious to eat. And let's try and get those seeds down sooner rather than later because it is now nighttime. Monsters are about to spawn. I mean, it's inevitable that we're going to get hit by some of them anyway. But I don't want to make it too hard for myself. Now, this week's done tomorrow, so I might wait and plant the pumpkins there. It'll still mean I get to squeeze in like a good couple of wheat harvests. I mean pumpkin harvests. Speaking of wheat, I do actually want to prioritize planting some of this. And yeah, we'll have a look what happens. Let's see how many yams I can fit. If there's still space, which I don't think there will be, then I'll place the pumpkins. But failing that, the pumpkins will be saved for when the speed grow spots are ready. We should be in plenty of time for two entire harvests of pumpkins on those spots and any others will go in any other free space that we get. And there we go. I think we've had a pretty successful first week of fall, if you ask me. I almost missed some seeds, but I, at least I realized before the end of this first week. And um, tax debt? What tax debt? There, there wasn't any tax debt. I don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. I feel like there are a lot of things on the farm that are really starting to come together now. If you're playing along with the challenge, let me know in the comments what room in the community center you're most scared of, because for me it definitely was the fish tank. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!